Welcome, I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com with a spectacular Mason and Hamlin Concert Grand. These are really rare instruments. You know, Mason and Hamlin made very few of these their entire production, about 10 a year in this period in the 1970s. And they're extraordinary instruments. I remember the first time I got a chance to play a Mason Hamlin Concert Grand was in a performance I was doing at Laguna Beach Live at the uh, College of Art and Science. And uh, I enjoyed the immersive experience. The piano has such a, an enveloping sound as you'll hear. So I'm gonna start off with a slow movement of Mozart, actually Beethoven, the opus 10, number three, the D major sonata, but this is the second movement. So you can hear the rich, lush sound. You know, this piano was just rebuilt meticulously. The action is so responsive. The tone is even throughout all registers. To show you the clarity, I'm gonna play a little bit of Mozart for you, the la a little bit of the last movement of the C major, Kershaw 330. Just a little taste for you. It works beautifully for classical period music. I'm gonna now close with a, a section of the B flat minor scherzo of Chopin because it has so much range from the top to the bottom, from the lyrical to the intense. All right, and see how you enjoy the sound and the range of tones from this magnificent instrument. If you have any more questions, of course, you can contact me, Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com.
So yes, if you have the space for a concert grand and you absolutely must have the best possible piano, this is an excellent choice for you. Sure, there are a lot of other great concert grand pianos, but Mason and Hamlet has a special place in the American industry as well as globally because the tone is the, one of the fattest sounds of any piano and it is has the distinction of being only one of two companies left from the thousands that existed uh, a century ago. Thanks for joining me, Robert Esther here at livingpianos.com.